this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! Let's go check out some new areas in the Lunar Ruins. Not the dwarf area, not the dwarf area. Okay, this area is actually pretty good. Actually, this is one of the areas that I really did want to find around here. Alright! Yeah, they got some new stores around here. Lots of really good stuff. Well, I might as well show you the item shop, but uh... Oh, there's uh... Oh, they got mega elixirs here, but uh... Nah, nothing there that I want. The real good stuff is at the equipment shop, so let's go check that out. There's a potential four floors that you can meet up with. You'll run into three of those four. This was one of the ones that I wanted. And I'm already healed up, so I don't need to worry about that. I really want to find the equipment shop, so there we go. There's the armor. Hmm. Yeah, we'll go for the armor first. Why not? They got some really unique stuff here. Uh, let's see. Assassin vest. You could get for Edge. Do I have enough for everything? Yeah, I think I could buy everything. Let's get an assassin vest for Edge. You could get battle gear for Yang there. Maximilian for Sid. Let's see, a Tokolo suit for Palum. Tabby suit for Porum. And... I think that's it. Okay, yeah, so buy one of everything. Let's see how that does. Let's see, Sid. 88 strength, 31 speed. Quick the Maximilian. And it doesn't do anything there. Oh well. Let's see, Palin. I hope he doesn't lose too much speed and intellect. Let's see, 38, 95. Quick the Chocobo suit. Nice! Oh, you lose some intellect. But he gets more speed, so it's totally worth it. And pour him there. I probably want to keep on the Robe of Lords, but eh, I'll check it out. Let's see, 95 spirit, 36 speed. Put that. Woo! Nice! She gets a speed boost too. I'll take it. All right. All in. And they got some really good weapons here too. Probably want to have about half a million or about five million gil before we're coming to this part. Let's see, we got the Rising Sun, that's the best boomerang in the game. Got the Assassin's Dagger for uh, Palom there. Let's see, a Gigantic Axe. Yeah, why not? Let's get that for Sid, too. Tiger Fangs, we can get those for Yang there. Perseus Arrows, if you really want them. But, well, let's check out the Gigantic Axe. Oh, it's even better there. Hmm. Let's see, 88 Strength, 31 Speed. Same difference, so it's just a little stronger. All right. How are we doing on inventory? Good. Now check out Palom's stats. 43 speed, 85 intellect. Well, that's good attack power, but yeah, look at that speed boost. Holy cow. But he does lose a bit on intellect, so maybe go with the Sage's Robe. Yeah, I want to stay above 48 speed. That would be nice. So maybe if I gain some more levels, but uh, for now, yeah, I think that's good. You want to get above about like a multiplier of 16 on speed there. So, all right, there we go. How are you doing, Porum? You had 31 speed before, so yeah, we'll hold on to that for now. Okay, I think that's everything we want to get you. Let's move on to the next floor. Not the dwarf area. Not the dwarf area. No! I hate this area. Well... Okay, well, hopefully I'll, I'll still be able to run into the one floor that I really want. Because there's one floor with some unique enemies. I don't know if you can meet up with them later. Uh, I suppose it should go without saying, do not touch the bombs. Not! Well, here we get to fight a melt bomb. And for some reason, this enemy does not appear in the bestiary. So, if you don't run into it, don't worry about it. Okay, let's try that. What? No! Oh. Okay, let's try that one again. Okay, go. Ah. Uh, whoa, whoa, hey, ho, ha! Okay, good, good. We made it. Now there we get a bomb crank. Yeah, I don't care for this area much at all. You got enemies that you can't run from. They don't do anything for your bestiary. Okay, go, 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 go! Yeah. So, whoa. So, yeah, it's just, you gotta dodge these guys. Whoa. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Did I check out down there? Well, I did now. So, yeah, nothing really all that rewarding about this one. Whoa! There we go. Haha! -ha! There we go. Got some bomb items that I'm probably just gonna have to discard from my inventory anyway. Gotta make room for those books. Whoa. Okay. Whoa! 
Okay. Oh, 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 There we go. Was there an item up there in one of the bushes? Aw, oh, man. I missed the floor. There's a floor, one of the four floors, that has some new enemies in it, but I'm not gonna get it now. Nuts! Well, maybe I'll make another trip or something. I don't know. But, yeah, no new enemies here, so I'm just gonna run from everything. Oh, well. But anyway, you go over there, you get some purified water. Here, you can get some firewood. Now, this part is a little tricky, because you gotta walk around this area, find some items, and solve puzzles with those items. So, let's see what we got here. Let's see, a lifeless tree. Do I set it on fire? No. No, we use the purified water. Do that, and it opens the door. So basically, you grab a whole bunch of items, you solve a riddle or something, and you move on with life. Hmm. Let's see what we got here. No, nothing I can do with that one. Let's try this one. Ah, oh, here's another place I could have met up with this guy, but, uh, hmm. I don't know if I can meet up with those other enemies in any other floor of this place. Hmm. There's also an optional super boss that you can meet up with here, but again, it's only on one of a certain number of floors. If I don't meet up with that one, I'll definitely go make another trip through this place. Small bear. Winnie the Pooh? It is! Yay! Anything over there? Double check. Hmm, nothing there yet. Hmm. Ah, there we go. Oh, what do we got here? Calcabrina? Or Calbrina? Or Calca? Whichever one you think you are? I don't know. Hmm. How do I get to that chest there? Ah, well, I didn't even know that was there gonna hug the walls, but that works too. Why not? So let's see, now we got a doll and a torch. Set the doll on fire? No. No, that would be a bad idea. Whoa. Wow, these guys are kicking my ass. Could we do without the uh, back attacks? Oh wait, what was that? Ah, there we go. Okay. Yeah, we need to use the torch on the lantern there. There we go. And one more. Aww. Let's give her a doll to play with. Knock, knock. Don't worry, I won't tell anyone I saw you playing with your dolls again. And I think that's all the riddles here. I think. Hmm. Why would they put that over there? Just to trip me out. Okay, never mind. Is that all of them? Yeah! Okay, there we go. I love this scene. Okay, well, let's go check out Sid's Trial! Uh, game? Hmm, well, I can't access the menu here. I can check out anyone else on there. Hmm, well, anyway, what you gotta do in this trial, a little different from the other ones. Okay, let's go. Sure, why not? Sounds like a great idea. minute 20? That's all the way on the other side of the world. Well, I do have an airship, but... Dilly dally shilly shally. Yeah, I did that just to torture you viewers. Now this trial is dependent on how well you know your world map. Fortunately, I've played this game 40 times, so I have the world map ingrained into my skull. So, just drop off there, and go on in here, and... Pretty simple. That's all you gotta do. Just make it there in time. Well, that was easy. Ha <laughs> ha I just gotta go to the local pub. Uh, where's the medicine going to? Troya? How would they ask for medicine over here? The Sidster? Really, game? Really? Okay, well, anyway... That's pretty much what you gotta do with this trial. Basically, someone's gonna ask you, hey, take me somewhere else, and you gotta take your airship and go all the way over there, and that's 
pretty much all there is to it. No monsters or anything like that to fight. Kind of odd for an engineer, but, well, you take what you can get. I was looking for a map here, but, uh, no, I don't have a map. Not of this place, it's just the world map. So, oh well. Huh. It's almost as though they're taking advantage of you. What accident? Again? Well, with an army of Krillins, I suppose that can't be helped. 40 seconds! Or wait a minute, no, that was 30 seconds. Wrong reference. Well, anyway, let's head on up to Seville. I don't think you can... I wonder what happens if you go to the wrong town. Hmm. I never thought about that before. Do I get a tip or something? Or your train collection? How do you even have trains here? I've never seen a train. The City of Elder? Is that you? Oh. Okay, so... Where are we going? Uh-oh. I don't know where he told me to go. I think he said Kaipo. Didn't he? I know one of them is Kaipo. I'm going to assume it's Kaipo and hope that it all works out. You can't do anything to get really close to there, so all you can do is just land there. Gosh, I hope my memory is good. Please tell me this is the right town. Please tell me this is the right town. Hey, hey I got the right town! Woohoo! I am dead serious. I did not know what town he said. I was just flapping my gums, and uh, I I skimmed over the dialogue. I wasn't even thinking about it. And I was like, oh, wait, what? Oh, I'm screwed. A guard, huh? Sure, why not? 30 seconds? I gotta walk all the way over to my airship. I don't even know if that was the closest place to land. Whoa, I almost went right into the town. Okay, come on. I can't dash on the world map, so what you see is what you got, viewers. Okay, come on. Go, 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 go! Let's see, I think it was straight south of Baron, so if I find Baron and go south, I should be good. Ha! Whoa, I like how the numbers are, like, flashing red there. Did we make it? Ho-ho! Yeah, the city actually isn't that old. He's like in his 50s or something. Get, it, get me out of this place! These guys don't even tip me good. Okay, so where do we go now? What's that sound? You don't rule the skies. That's what we got King for. For boss time! Against Lunar Ramu himself. Ramu, whatever. Nice entrance there. Okay, first things first. We want to get a spider silk on him. Now, normally, for the most part, you don't want to use physical attacks on him, or he will do that to you. Oh, well, that didn't hurt so much at all. Usually, I thought that would hurt more. But anyway, get the spider silks going. Go with Flare! And as long as you got elemental protection on just about everyone, you should be fine. Oh. Oh, wait, no, I was going to say, maybe I should have left elemental protection on uh, Porum there, but she has the protect rank, so I'm not worried about that. So, uh, whoa. You don't want Kane, or not Kane, uh, you don't want Sid or Cecil to attack, because every time you attack him, you'll have to deal with a counterattack. So, you basically want... King to use jump. If you have Yang, use focus or deadly. And Palin to use flare. And that should be pretty much it. He doesn't have that much HP compared to a lot of the other Lunar Idolans. So this one shouldn't take too long. Double jump, obviously. You're going to deal get the best bang for your buck there. Maybe I should haste up. I was going to keep her on standby, but well, we seem to be holding up pretty well. I think I like the uh, double jump from Final Fantasy VI. That's just me. With the, uh, what was that accessory called? The Dragon Horn? Something or other like that. 
But anyway, yeah, it looks like I missed some enemies in uh, one of the areas between the last trial and this one. So, well, I don't know if you can meet up with them on other floors. I, I didn't check that far. But, well, I'll see what I can do. Hmm, maybe Holy would be a good idea against them. Give it a shot, why not? Hey, there we go. Hey, that rhymes. I was thinking of Holy because of Cecil's uh, Lightbringer sword there. I was like, hmm, maybe that might be a bit good idea. Oh, wait, I can just cast it outright. Hey, not bad, alright. I'm surprised Thunderbolt isn't dealing more damage. Yeah, it's basically just like the Thunderbolt that those dragons do, the Thunder Dragons. I actually a whole bunch of dragons, too, where it deals... If you have elemental protection, it'll deal, like, uh, a tenth of your max HP, but if you don't, then it deals, like, half. For some reason, it sometimes seems to be dealing a quarter of max HP, though. Oh, well. But yeah, use max damage stuff. Don't bother with little dinky things. Maybe I could have Cecil do some healing. You know, that's not a bad idea. Uh, obviously, Ramu absorbs thunder, so you don't want to use, like, Thor's hammer on him. But, all right, We got him. Yeah, a lot harder than Ramu and Ridius trial there. Before defeating him, we get the Lunar Ramu Summons book. All right. I suppose I should show those things off one of these days, huh? Like what those books do. But for defeating him, we also get the Flare Sledge Hammer! I believe that's his max damage weapon. Yeah, we got a lot of max damage weapons now, don't we? Got at least three of them. I don't think Edge can get up to max. Or not max damage, max, max attack power. But, alright. Well, let's go check that. Check out what that weapon did. Probably not worth the 500 grand that it cost me to buy the weapon just five minutes ago, but oh well. But anyway, let's see. We got 88 strength, 31 speed. Let's see. Max is out his attack power. Okay, it doesn't do anything to those stats. Did it do something for stamina? I didn't check. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Well, it boosts your stamina, so that's more defense. And obviously max attack power. And naturally, as the weapon suggests, if you hit an enemy with it, it casts Flare! But will that be enough to overcome the next trial? Or will we need Wonder Twin powers for it? Find out next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!